Are you tired of misleading mobile ads? Are you sick of downloading mobile games from ads just for it to be completely different from the ad itself? Well, look no further. I'll be comparing the mobile ad to the actual gameplay so you don't have to waste time and storage on downloading the game just to find out it's probably not something you actually want to play. I'll be comparing the mobile ads to the actual gameplay. Let's take a look at the ad. So in ad number one, you have to pick up the animals to take to the farmer at the end, avoiding obstacles that can stop you. So it looks like a cute little strategy game, just time it right, click away and reach the end, right? In ad number two, we have the classic format of trying to figure out the solution. From this ad, you have to find the best way to complete the puzzle, mobile ads tend to do this a lot and it's pretty annoying because 99% of the time, this is not the game at all. Actually, every time I see an ad like this, I'm kind of skeptical. And in ad number three, another classic. You have sheep who are desperately needing your help to escape, so you have to figure out the best way to free them or solve the problem. From just three games, we got three different ads. This game seems like a mixed bag already. From these ads, it seems like a puzzle based game with some quick strategy type of thing. I have no idea how to explain what kind of game this is. But yeah, there's just three different things in one game. Before we jump into the gameplay, feel free to subscribe and click the bell, tap that like button and comment down below what mobile vs ad gameplay you would like me to cover next. Alright, who's ready for some sick puzzles? What the f*** is this? So, Township is just looking after a town, really. You have a bunch of people you have to look after, as well as neighbours that you can do jobs for. You're basically a farmer and most of the time I just had to produce crops to make things to give to other towns. In turn for doing that, you get some coins and XP. You also have to tend to what your citizens want and build buildings that they need to schools, grocery stores and stuff like that. Building houses will have more people at your town as well and leveling up unlocks more things. A lot of this game is just waiting for things to be done, but because I'm so impatient, I just kept spending my premium currency that I got for free on everything. So yeah, I don't have any more. I have to wait now if I keep playing. But yeah, you can you can use your premium cash on your coins, but they both cost money as well. You can add your friends onto this game and visit their farms. I'm guessing I don't have any friends, so I couldn't test this one out. <laughs> uh, but yeah. No puzzles in sight. This game is just looking after your town, waiting around, and then, yeah, I, I really don't know what to say. It's not a genre I'm into. It's one of those idle games again that got really popular first on Facebook, I think. I just don't understand why they had to use such misleading ads because for me personally, I'm more interested in what they showed me in the ads than what's in the actual game. But if we go by reviewing the actual game, I would say I don't really like it. And I've played this genre before, I actually did enjoy genres like this when I was a lot younger, but I'm more into strategy and fast paced kind of games so it's probably why I don't really like it, just basically not my cup of tea. From the store page, this game has well over 100 million downloads and a 4.2 star rating. That is a lot of downloads and a pretty high rating. This game is classified as a casual, simulation, and a farming game. From the description, it's a great game for the whole family. You get to build your dream town, develop your town, you can open things like restaurants, cinemas, and other community buildings. That's pretty cool actually. I'm not really into farming kind of things, but if you get to change your town from a rundown farm to a modern day high tech city, that's pretty cool. Apparently you can run a whole zoo as you can collect animals around the entire world. And you know what? The description makes it sound interesting. I don't have the patience or the money to probably play this game because I'm sure at some point it can get pretty heavy with the wait times, but yeah, it sounds interesting. I was not close at all to getting to that point. From the reviews, one person wrote, This game was great for a while, but lately it's just becoming more of a pay to play game. And another review, bad. Have been playing this game for years. It used to be one of the best games around, but has rapidly declined over the past year. And basically, they talk about the progress is just more difficult over time. Some of the reviews talk about the side games. I don't know what that is, but it could be the puzzle games maybe. I know one game did that, 
where you would play the game and then eventually a puzzle would pop up but it only happened once after 30 minutes and then I played for another two hours to try and get that puzzle to come back and it never showed up so yeah that was a lot of time wasted but even so if that was the case that they did put those games as little side puzzles I wouldn't want that I want a game that is purely based on the puzzles like they showed me in the ads it shouldn't be like something extra but some good reviews um, let's see here the person says they placed Another person says they played for three years and it is fun. Not really much to add, but more that they just basically like everything I talked about earlier. So obviously their taste is very different to mine. Another person enjoys that there are no ads in the game and that you can get cash and items for free in many different ways as they claim. And so that's pretty much it. The ads are misleading. The game itself is not something I'm into, but maybe some of you might be into. I'm not really sure. This isn't a dig on the game itself, it's just the way they chose to advertise it, which is kind of lame. But yeah, hopefully we'll have a game like the ads that's actually good. I do have a video where I did play a game that's like the ads, but unfortunately it was very, very poorly made. And a lot of it didn't make sense at all. There was a lot of references that maybe not all people would understand, but yeah, I didn't like it. So, Township. Please don't make your ads like this, it's not cool. I downloaded this game thinking it'd be something pretty interesting like the puzzles, but it wasn't. And you know what, I'm really tired of mobile games doing that, it'd be really cool if they just actually showed ads of their game, because to me it shows that they're not confident enough in their game to actually show their own game play, so they try to trick people into downloading the game just by on these ads. And it's not even just Township, I'm not trying to like make a dig at them. I also made a game about Hero Wars where I went into this as well. It's just that a lot of mobile game companies do this and it really 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 sucks because a lot of people are being misled and I don't even know how that's legal. I don't know the laws though because I don't know anything but I just I'm rambling at this point. But seriously if there is another game that you think might be misleading ads as well please let me know in the comments down below. I would absolutely love to check it out and see if it is like the ads or not because it's really interesting seeing how games are actually to what the ads show so yeah that's all for today's video i thank you very much for watching subscribe and click the bell for more games versus ads like the video if you want me to continue this series i really do enjoy making these comment down below what game i should cover next and i hope to see you for the next one bye